Well, hi, I'm Carl, and welcome to Adventures in Camping. In the last video, I discussed making cowboy coffee. So, if you decide that you want to buy a pot to make cowboy coffee, you may decide that you want to buy a new one, or you may want to get a vintage one. I'm presently at the Stewart's Draft Antique Mall in Stewart's Draft, Virginia. It's a nice little antique mall. It's well cared for, and it has good prices. So, while I was here, I found this. This is a good little pot for making some cowboy coffee in. It has been used, I can tell by looking inside. But I don't see any rust, so I don't think it's necessary to take it outside and hold it up to the sun and check for pinholes. So we're looking in it here, so you can see inside. Yes, I always carry a flashlight with me. All right, but other things that you're gonna be checking out. You wanna look around the spout, see if there are any cracks. You wanna check this. Now this has a little bit of rust right here, which I don't see as an issue. And you also want to check this handle. Make sure the handle doesn't have any cracks on it either. So the handle's in good shape. I'm going to check the bottom just in case. The bottom is in good shape. So this is a decent little coffee pot. Not huge, but for, for a, few, a few folks, it would make a good cowboy coffee coffee pot. And it's $19 for a vintage one. I'm not sure at this point how much a brand new one would cost, but you might not be able to find one this size. Let's look around and see what else we'll find. So here is a whopper of a coffee pot for making cowboy coffee. And this should supply the whole gang with enough coffee to keep them running for the day. And again, we want to check this thing out. Look at it, okay? Uh, this has, it has lost some of the, some of the enamel down here around the bottom of the spout. But I don't see any light. Woo. So that's good. Looking at it on the inside, this one's built a little bit differently. See it? It's all one piece. So you don't have to worry about it rusting around here. And the handle is in good shape. See, we're looking at the handle here. And the handle is in good shape as well. So this is all around a pretty good, really nice coffee pot. Now, this coffee pot they're asking $60 for. The big blue one that you saw in my last video is around $60, and it's big, but it's not as big as this one. So it kind of depends on how much coffee do you need to make. And a quick look at the lid. Not exactly sure what this is. That's a magnet. Why it's there, I have no clue, but it's a magnet. At first, I was trying to figure out what was going on with it. But this is a nice buy. I don't need one, and my lovely wife would kill me if I brought it home. I have enough stuff. But if you're ever in Stewart's Draft, Virginia, and you want a great big coffee pot, this is the ticket. Here are a couple examples of pots not to use for cowboy coffee. You see where the spout comes out? Well, it comes out near the bottom, so you're going to be pouring grounds right from the bottom. So avoid these types 
of coffee pots for cowboy coffee. Otherwise, the other type with the spout near the top, they are perfect. Well, thanks for watching this short video about cowboy coffee pots. Not a lot to say about it, but if you don't know what you're looking for, this is a simple primer on uh, finding a coffee pot to use for camp. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when I put out a new video, and uh, y'all come back now, you hear?